Okay, friends, welcome back to another lesson in our whole numbers unit. And let's just get started here. And just the idea that some problems do not need an exact answer. And sometimes you can estimate a sum. Well, let's, let's break down these words here. We have this word estimate or estimate, and that means to get a, an about answer, not an exact answer. And this word sum here means the answer when we add. How do you know if $500 is enough money to buy the TV and the Blu-ray player? And do you even need to add the prices of the items or can you estimate or estimate to find out? Okay, here I have a chart showing the seating capacity of each CFL's team home stadium. And CFL is the Canadian Football League and that's Vancouver and that's BC Place there. So we have all the teams. Um, this is a few years ago, so we're missing Ottawa, but that's okay. And it shows the capacity and that means how many people it can hold. Well, suppose a game was sold out. It means every seat was, uh, every ticket was bought, every seat was being used um, in Vancouver for the BC Lions and in Calgary for the Stampeders about how many people attended these two games that is a key word the word about i'm not looking for the exact answer but about how many people attended those games and then i'd like you to say well the cfl ordered 55,000 pennants to give away for the opening blue bombers and the alouettes games these games were sold out will there be a pennant for everyone explain how you know all right, Rosie McLennan of Richmond Hill, Ontario, participated in the 2012 London Olympic Games. She won Canada's only gold medal in trampoline. Rosie was one of 10,820 athletes at the 2012 London Olympic Games. There were 10,942 athletes at the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games. About how many athletes attended both Olympic Games? And you know that an exact answer is not required because the question asked about how many. So we're going to estimate or estimate 10,820 plus 10,942. We're going to look at a couple different strategies here. Well, one strategy is called using the front digits to, est to estimate, and this is called front end rounding. And so we're only going to add the digits, the, uh, the first digits of the numbers. So here we have first digit is a one and a one and that remember those ones are in the 10,000 spots so that actually means 10,000 plus 10,000 and if we were to add those together it's about 20,000 well we can adjust the front end estimate by looking at the first two digits in each number so it doesn't have to be necessarily the first and so we could say to ourselves well 10,820, that's actually pretty darn close to 11,000, and similar, 10,942 is pretty similar to 11,000, so we could add those together and get 22,000. Well, using the first two digits gets you closer to the exact answer. There was about 22,000 athletes the two games, and just as a note, front end rounding always gives an underestimate, because you're leaving all those other digits alone, okay? Well, let's talk about another, another method, and that's to use something called compatible numbers. And compatible numbers are finding numbers that are easy to work with. For example, multiples of 10 are compatible numbers. To estimate, replace the actual numbers with numbers that are compatible. So we could write 10,820 um, as 11,000 and 10,942 as 11,000. Or we could say, well, 10,800 plus 10,900 is 21,700. So what we did there is we, we got rid of these two and these two, of the tens and the ones digits, and we just added those, okay? So we could say there's about 22,000 athletes at the two games, or if you want to be even a little bit more accurate, there was 21,700 athletes. Now, under sorry compatible numbers may give an underestimate or an overestimate it depends on the numbers you use so if you choose numbers that are above um, then it's going to be an overestimate but if you choose numbers that are below it's going to be an underestimate 
Now we can also use front end rounding when you estimate the sum of more than two numbers. Like what if we had to add more than two numbers altogether? So we just did some examples where we're only adding two numbers. We can use front end rounding if the numbers have different number of digits as well. So here I have five different Summer Olympic Games. I have the number of athletes that participated. If we were to estimate how many athletes all together attended, well, we could we could do some work that's a little bit uh, quicker with front end rounding. So um, we got our numbers here. Well, I've just taken the digits. You know, we're looking at the first digit. They all started with a one. So that's about 50,000 athletes at the five games. Well, we can adjust using something called compensation. Compensation. And compensation means um, I change the number. I know that looks a little complicated. I don't want to scare you too much. Okay. I change the number uh, rounding up or rounding down. Now I have the choice here. So I said to myself, self, I think um, this 10,820 is it's kind of close to 11,000. Let's change that to 11,000. But the way that compensation works is if I round up on the first one, I round down the second and I alternate. I go round up, round down, round up depending on how many digits I'm doing or how many, sorry, how many numbers I'm doing. And on the last one, I get to choose up or down. So because this number was kind of on the low side, I decided to go down. So I have two downs in a row. And if we add all these together, so 11,000 plus 10,000 plus 11,000 plus 10,000 plus 10,000, that is 52,000. Okay, so there's about 52,000 people uh, or athletes at the five games. Okay, I'm going to get you to try this one. 9,361 plus 21,353 plus 14,245 plus 7,211 plus 15,526. So I want you to use front end rounding and then I want you to use something called compensation. Okay, so using front end rounding, uh, I'm looking at the first digit. I'm actually going to look at the first two digits if it's applicable. So I have, let's say, 9,000 plus 21,000 plus 14,000 plus 7,000 plus 15,000. So I could do it that way. Uh, well, I know these two make 30,000. 21 plus 9 is 30. Uh, I can say that these two make 29,000 and so these two will make 59,000 and I just need to add that 7,000 I left alone and that would be 66,000 altogether. Okay, so that's front end rounding, but if we're going to use the compensation method, I round up or round down. Now I'm looking at this one here. Uh, I think I'm going to round down so to 9,000. Now remember I have to go, so maybe I'll put arrows here. That means I have to go up here. So I'm going to go to 22,000. I need to round down because I'm alternating. So I'm going to go to 14,000. I need to round up because that's the way it goes to 8,000. And then I get to choose on the last one. So I, I want to go up or down. I guess it is closer going up technically. So I'll go up again. So that is 16,000. Okay. And so here I have to add all these together. Now I always, and if you notice in the last one, I like to find numbers that go together easy. Well, a two plus an eight will, will go up easily. So those two make 30,000 right there. So I've taken care of these guys. Is there anything else? Well, these two, uh, 14 plus 16 is also 30,000. So I've gotten rid of those two and that leaves the nine. So I have 30 plus 30 plus nine is 69,000. And again, that's a, that's a close estimate. It's not exact, but that's okay. So this lesson's about using estimating and just finding different quick ways to find an about answer because we don't need the exact answer. Um, you might be shopping, you have so much money and you say to yourself, well, I'm going to round that, you know, can of soup up and that box of Oreos, whatever down to the, to easier numbers. So I can find out if I need 
or you know if I have enough money or if I need to go beg you know um, hey mister can you spare me 50 cents for my Oreos I really hope that doesn't happen to you so here you can see that estimating might work out well for you in your shopping endeavors okay guys thanks so much take care